So let's just continue with this, the mystery of the mishtir of the, the resurrection and the immortality of his imperial majesty of Hadis Elias I. We said that we as the Rastafari, and this is the 81st anniversary of the coronation of our godfather, the king of kings of Ethiopia, of Kedamawi Haile Selassie. Right? This is the 81st. Right? And this is a, this is a new scribe, a new scroll. Go to www.lojsociety.org forward slash. Well, you can go to studies and some free wear. You can go to books. There's some other wares there that one can um, give a free will, uh, a free will offering and receive a copy of of this new scribe, the Gospel of H. I. M. Haile Selassie. But what we're saying here is that not all the mitmenai, not all those who are believers or, or faithful will die or sleep. The Bible uses the, the phraseology of sleep. So when we speak about Burhan Salasi Bar Mali, he went to sleep, or Jacob Miller, or, or, or Peter Tosh, they have gone to sleep. Or, or others from previous times, they have gone to sleep. But the word says, Behold, I show you a mystery, a mystery. We, I and I, shall not all sleep, but I and I, we, shall all be changed. It says, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, at the last trumpet, for it says, The trumpet shall sound, or the teruah, the trumpet shall sound, and the dead, the mutan, the dead, shall be raised incorruptible. And we, I and I, shall be changed. For this incorruptible, this incorruptible that we, what we was born, our natural birth, our natural person, flesh and blood, you can say, you understand? This corruptible must put on what? Incorruption. It must put on incorruption. And this mortal man, this mortal, must put on immortality. And Abba Kedus signifies to us that our Godfather, Kedamawi Halasalasi, our kinsman redeemer, Moa Anbesazem Negeda Yehuda, Kedamawi Halasalasi. Siyuma Egezi Abher Nagusa Neges, the Ethiopia, has put on in Abu Kadus, in Kadus Abatachin, he has put on that immortality. So when his Majesty tells us in that interview that everyone says he denied his divinity, he didn't deny his divinity. You understand? He denied false emanation philosophy. You understand? He pointed the Rastafari not to be deceived or deluded. You understand? But to go to the source and the truth. You understand? Which is the B I B L E, which is the Bible, which is the true way of Christ and true testimony of Christ. And this is what our recent scroll and scribe helps to document and helps to present this particular work here and a lot of other work by many other brothers and sisters as well. Now, the mortal must put on immortality. So as Matthew says, I'm a man. I am mortal. I will be what? Replaced by the oncoming generation. Not that careless generation of so-called Ethiopians, the children of disobedience, who turned against, who, 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 who bit the hand that fed them. You know, Bagoresu, Tenekasu. They bit their hand that fed them. But let's just sum this part up because the final victory, the final victory in this, in this whole matrix is the victory over death, the victory over moat. It says, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be written, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. So death is going to be swallowed up in victory. So it's nothing to run from, brothers and sisters. We say that, that there is no death. That's a little oversimplification of the teaching. One is looking at the fulfillment of it, but we must return to the process. You understand? And, and, and the procedure. 
You know what I'm saying? Not just the destination, but know how to walk and know, well, what is the road map, you know what I'm saying, to such victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is hatiata, is sin, is missing the mark. And the strength of hatiat is the law. This is why it says that the Torah or the law is our schoolmaster, so we can be wise to salvation, brothers and sisters and mothers. But thanks be to God. But thanks be to Jah Rastafari. Thanks be to the God and Father of our black Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which giveth us the victory. Through whom? Through our Lord through our Master, Jesus Christ. Now, the final verse is this, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And this is kind of a, a, a summary of, 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 of this message concerning the proof of the resurrection and the immortality of His Imperial Majesty of Hala Selassie, even in us, that generation that he prophesied of, both in that particular um, Canada interview as well as in the autobiography in the Mechdim or the preface of, of book one of his Majesty's autobiography. He says almost the same thing. And he says that may the, 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 his kin and the brethren of him and the son, of the father and the son who will rise up, who will resurrect in the future, make note of the word that you have spoken for without me, without Yeshua HaMoshiach, ye can do nothing, that we cannot do anything apart from the son of God, the son of the father, the one whom Hala Selassie testified to. And that's our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, in spirit and in truth. But this final verse is the ultimate victory is a motive to service. You see, the ultimate victory over death, over hell, over destruction, that itself should be motive, should be motive for the service, to be motive to serve the King of Kings in this ministry of his imperial majesty and to be co-laborers with this society, the society of the lion of the tribe of Judah. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, be ye firm, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding, always abounding in the work of Adonai, always abounding in the work of of the master and the work of Gita. For as much as ye know that your labor, this is what we must know in our labor, because the world would make us think, oh, why are you putting forward all these messages about this and that and Ethiopia and black Hebrews and Hala Selassie? Why are you doing all of that? You see, because we know that we must be steadfast. We know that we must be unmovable. We know that we must always abound in the work of Adonai, Yehoshua HaMoshiach. For as much as ye know, as we know, that our labor is not vain in our Master, in our Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Stay tuned. More to come, y'all willing. Shalom, Rastafari.